Hey everybody, Brew Krebs here, your trusted guide in the ever-changing world of real estate. Today we're focusing on Generation X and the unique challenges we face in the realm of real estate. We're talking about upgrading or remodeling your homes, downsizing for convenience, and creating that perfect work-life balance with those home offices. If you're part of the often overlooked but incredibly influential Gen X group, this video is tailor-made for you. So let's dive in. And as always, if you do have any questions as we go throughout the video today, don't hesitate to comment those below and I'll be more than happy to get you the answers. Or if you'd like a deeper dive into whatever it is that we're talking about or just something else, please feel free to call or text me anytime. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to have a conversation. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that little bell button to be notified when those new videos come out. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So let's kick things off by talking about upgrading or remodeling your home. You know, as we age, so do our homes. They often need a little bit of TLC, and not just for upkeep, but for transformation. It's about adapting our living spaces to our changing family dynamics, maybe changing personal tastes and the requirements of the modern world. So how do we approach this process of transformation? Let's dive into that. Start by assessing your home's current condition. Look at what needs repair, what could be more efficient, and where you can really add some value. Is it the kitchen? Is it begging for an update? Or maybe it's that bathroom. It could use a little bit of those modern touches. Remember, it's not just about what needs fixing. It's also about foreseeing future needs. Perhaps you'll need more space, or maybe it's about making your home smarter and more energy efficient. When planning for those renovations, prioritize based on your needs and the potential return on your investment, or that ROI. Kitchen and bathroom remodels often provide that best ROI for you, but it's also important to consider what improvements enhance your daily living experience. Also consider those energy saving upgrades. Not only could they reduce your bills, but they could significantly increase your home's market value. Incorporating modern trends and technologies can profoundly impact your living experience too. Think smart home systems, energy efficient appliances, or even eco-friendly materials. These updates can make your home more functional, comfortable, and aligned with contemporary living standards. Let me share a quick story about one of my Gen X clients. His name was Michael. In the, his 1980s home felt outdated and inefficient. We worked together to prioritize upgrades and he started a kitchen remodel with adding appliances and energy efficient lighting. Then we moved to the living room where he integrated a home automation system. These changes not only rejuvenated his home's look and feel, but also improved its functionality and its efficiency. Michael's home transformation was a true reflection of his lifestyle and his personal taste. Upgrading your home can indeed be a fulfilling journey, transforming it into a space that truly reflects who you are. But for some, a different kind of change might be more suitable at this stage of life. Next, let's explore the concept of downsizing, a step that many Gen Xers are considering these days. And hey, don't forget, if you haven't already, like this video and share it with your friends. I'd love to reach more great folks just like you. I really appreciate it. But moving on to our next topic, downsizing. This is becoming a popular choice for many Gen Xers, especially those who find themselves as now empty nesters after having that great family life for so many years. Downsizing isn't about just moving to a smaller space. It's about a strategic decision to align your living environment with your current lifestyle and needs. Let's look at what makes downsizing an attractive option and how to navigate this transition effectively. One of the most appealing aspects of downsizing is the reduction in upkeep. A smaller home typically means less cleaning, lower utility costs, and generally less maintenance. It's not only easier on your schedule, but also on your wallet. Emotionally preparing for a move also is a critical, critical step. Acknowledge the sentimental value of your current home, but also embrace the simplicity and freedom that comes with downsizing. It's a chance to declutter, not just your physical space, but also your whole life. When looking for a smaller property, consider what's important to you now. Do you want a vibrant community, proximity to your family, or maybe a quiet retreat? Think about accessibility, local amenities, and the type of neighborhood that aligns with your lifestyle. As an expert in downsizing once said, it's not about losing space, it's about gaining a space that works for you. 
Remember, the right home for this phase of your life can bring some new sense of joy and some great freedoms. So whether you're considering upgrading for more space or embracing the simplicity of downsizing, there's another important aspect for you Gen Xers out there to consider. Creating a space in your home that supports a healthy work-life balance. Let's delve into how to effectively create and utilize a home office in our next segment. Now let's pivot to a topic that's increasingly relevant in today's world, especially with our Gen Xers, and it's that work-life balance. And with home offices, that's an important step. With a significant portion of Gen X still in active in the workforce and remote work becoming more common, it's crucial to have space in your home that's dedicated to your professional life. This isn't just about having a desk. It's about creating an environment that fosters productivity and maintains a healthy separation between your work and your personal life. Let's explore how you can achieve this. Having a dedicated workspace is vital. It helps you mentally shift into work mode and keeps distractions at bay. It's not just about that physical space though, it's about creating a mental zone for your professional activities. Design your home office with productivity and well-being in mind. Consider ergonomic furniture to ensure comfort during those long work hours. Natural light and a view can boost mood and energy levels. Also add some greenery. Plants can enhance the atmosphere and the air quality. Think about color psychology too. Blues and greens, they're calming, while yellows can stimulate creativity. Your home office should be a blend of form and function. It should complement the rest of your home's design while being an efficient workspace. Use shelves for organization, invest in quality lighting, and if space is limited, consider multifunctional furniture, like a fold-down desk or wall-mounted shelves. Setting up a home office doesn't have to be expensive either. Start with what you have. Maybe there's a spare table or chair that can be repurposed. DIY desk setups can be both affordable and satisfying to build. Use floating shelves for storage to save floor space. Remember, the key is to create a space where you can feel motivated and focused. It doesn't have to be large. Even a small corner can be transformed into an effective work area. So to sum it up, creating a dedicated home office is a crucial step for Gen Xers, balancing remote work with personal life. It's about crafting a space that supports your productivity, health, and overall well-being. I hope these tips help you in setting up a workspace that not only meets your needs, but also inspires you to do your very best work. So for my Gen X crowd, real estate decisions can be about upgrading to a fresh start, downsizing for efficiency, or creating that perfect home office for work-life balance. Each choice reflects a step towards aligning your living space with your current phase of life. Thank you so much for tuning into the video today. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more insights into real estate and so much more. And if you have specific questions or need advice tailored to your situation, please feel free to reach out to me. You can text or call me anytime and I'd love to talk to you. Don't forget, I work the Atlanta in-town real estate market, including neighborhoods like Buckhead, Midtown, Old Fourth Ward, Virginia Highlands, Inman Park, West Midtown, and well, anywhere that's inside that perimeter. But I've got some of the best affiliates in the country, both here in Georgia and throughout the United States. So no matter where your real estate needs take you, I'm the perfect place to start. Thank you so much for tuning into this video today. I am so grateful that you are here. And if you did like this video, I know you're gonna love the next one that pops up on your screen.